as a poultry farmer, it's essential to develop good habits that can make you succeed. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you six key habits to develop, which can make you a better poultry farmer. And the video is starting right now. I want to use the next 30 seconds to advertise a service we render over here from the farm. It's called a canvas printing split panels. We have that of three in one, we have that of five in one. It is good for your interior decoration. Those your wall that is just vacant, this kind of stuff is what you need. And this is what we we'll do over here in farm. You know, farms are sited in isolated area, right? So we use it to keep ourselves busy and make money in the process. It comes with a working work clock, so it can be the work clock you have in your living room. So I'll be sharing a link in the description of this video if you're interested, you order the service, keep us busy in the farm. So we'll make money and also beautify the walls in your house. Number one and the most important is consistency. Just as consistency is one of the key habits you need to develop to succeed in various other businesses, this applies in poultry as well. In poultry you need to develop a routine, a daily routine and stick to it as close and as long as possible. For instance, we, okay, let me not use broiler because our broilers always have feed 247. But for our layers, we feed them in the morning by 7 a.m. and also we feed them in the evening by 3 p.m. And we've done this over time. So once it's 30 minutes to the main time, these birds don't have time, but they know because we've done this over time and we've been consistent with it. Once it's 30 minutes to that time, all the birds within the penthouses start making noise. And this noise will continue until their feed is served and everyone is eating and that's it for that noise for the day. We've done this over time, we've been consistent with it, the best know about it. So any change in routine might affect their development and performance. The second habit you need to develop as a poultry farmer is attention to details. You need to pay keen attention to details to enable you to be proactive. You know, small things might start, some things might start small and then gradually develop into something too much that you cannot handle yourself. So if you pay closer attention to details, you might be able to stop whatever thing that needs to be stopped and change whatever needs to be changed and then adjust to things that are needed by this base. And this involves you using all your sense organs. You need to use your sense of sight to observe what's happening, sense of smell, sense of touch. <laughs> I'm tempted to say sense of test, but if there is need for testing, you can take things to the lab to test. So you need to pay keen attention to details. Then the number three habit you need to develop as a poultry farmer is record keeping. I don't know how to stress how important record keeping is. Record keeping goes beyond just knowing the number of beds you have. You need to record keep your the number of feed they eat a day, water they consume, mortalities, the number of beds that are sick. All these records are really important because there might come a time that you need this record to go through to know the performances of the best. Okay, for instance, um, let's say the number of feed you give your layers tend to reduce for any reason or maybe you change a feed brand and then you start noticing difference in performances. It's from the record that it can be traced that this issue started from when you change from this feed to this field. So record keeping is a very very important habit to develop as a poultry farmer. The fourth thing you need to the first habit you need to develop as a poultry farmer is um, updating your knowledge. Constant learning. Learning never ends. Just the same way poultry industry is a dynamic business. There are times you learn something new that might improve your performance. Something new that might make farm operations easier for you. So always be open to attending workshops, seminars, Zoom meeting calls, or watching videos like this to learn something new that will help you improve your farm performances. Then the fifth um, is attention to biosecurity. <laughs> biosecurity, just like disease can break out in a flock and then circulate all through within the farmhouse and if possible to the neighboring farms, it's very very important to try your possible best to halt it at a particular point in time by maintaining strict biosecurity. So make sure that your facilities are secured. If as much as possible, limit the visits of other farmers to your farm. It's even easier to allow someone who is not into farming to come visit you than allowing a fellow farmer. Although most of these things are not intentional, but um, biosecurity goes way 
beyond you seeing someone bringing things into your farm. It can be something that the person stepped on from his own farm, ignorantly, not on purpose, and the person comes to your farm and somehow that thing is deposited somewhere in your farm. One way or the other, the thing finds its way into your penthouse. Any problem happening in that farm will certainly come into yours. So paying closer attention to biosecurity is a habit that you need to develop as a farmer. And finally, you need to be patient and persistent. See, poultry farming is actually sweet, but sometimes it is challenging and unpredictable. But with patience and persistence, you can overcome any challenge. How do you, what are the habits that you develop in your own farm that is worth sharing? Feel free to share it with us in the comment section of this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And for any of your questions, also drop it in the comment section. That's it for this video, guys. See you next time.